Namaste ladies and gentlemen and once again a very good evening to each one of you here, our distinguished dignitaries and all the esteemed invitees. I am your host for the evening, Shivani Thapa. And for me, it indeed is a great privilege and a pleasure as well to be extending heartfelt uh, welcome to all of you on behalf of the organizers to this very, very important occasion, uh, which so very comes in line with our objectives of promoting economic development by creating an investment-friendly environment in Nepal. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a very, very important day for us all, especially at a time when Nepal Nepal is setting its gears to take off on a journey towards overall prosperity. And we shall today, ladies and gentlemen, in the gracious presence of the Honorable Minister for Finance, who is also the Vice Chair of the Investment Board of Nepal, witness the endorsement of a project investment agreement, and that for the development of a mega cement factory in Nepal, which, ladies and gentlemen, basically, basically, uh, it, it paves way for Hong Shishivam uh, Cement Private Limited uh, to process and produce uh, high-grade cement in Nepal. Uh, uh, the overall features of all this you will get to know in course of the program today. Uh, but the substance in today's uh, formality is that uh, Hong Shishivam will be the first the first ever private company to sign this agreement, ladies and gentlemen. Said that, uh, certainly it is a way forward for all, all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I have the privilege of inviting our distinguished dignitaries on the stage. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, allow me the privilege to invite on stage Honorable Finance Minister, also the Vice Chair of the Investment Board of Nepal, Mr. Gyanendra Bahadur Garki. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to place my humble request to Her Excellency Yu Hong, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Nepal, to kindly take a seat up on the stage. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure of inviting the signatories of today's PIA, namely Mr. Mahaprasad Adhikari, the Chief Executive Officer of the Investment Bank of Nepal, and Mr. Lai Weipeng, the Director or General Manager of Hong Shi Shivam Cement Private Limited. We are very much pleased, ladies and gentlemen, to invite on stage witnesses, namely Mr. Boykunta Aryal, the Joint Secretary, Ministry of Finance, Mr. Shankar Aryal, Director General, Department of Industry, Mr. Ramesh Gupta, Director of Hong Shi Shivam Pri Cement Private Limited. And last but not the least, Mr. Satish Kumar Moore, Representative of Shareholder Shivam Holdings Private Limited. Thank you, thank you, distinguished dignitaries, one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, please be informed that PIA, or the Project Investment Agreement, is a contract between Government of Nepal and the company for today, Hongshi Shivam Simen Private Limited, and it lays down the rights and obligations of both the parties. And for now, distinguished dignitaries, it's with great pleasure that we head towards the signing ceremony. I reiterate, it's happening in the gracious presence of Honorable Minister of Finance, also the Vice Chairman of the Investment Board, Mr. Gyanendra Bahadur Karki. And we are very, very much pleased with the presence of Her Excellency, uh, uh, Ms. Wu Hong, the uh, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Nepal. Said that, ladies and gentlemen, now the documents would be presented to the signatories for endorsement. I have the pleasure of requesting the signatories, Mr. Mahaprasad Adhikari, Chief Executive Officer, IBN, and Mr. Lai Weiping, the Director of Hong Shi Shivam Cement Private Limited, to kindly put their initials in the PIA document.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the exchange of the documents. I request Mr. Mahaprasad Adhikari, the Chief Executive Officer, Investment Board of Nepal, and Mr. Lai Weiping, Director of Hongshi Shivam Cement Private Limited, to kindly come forward to do away with the formality. And to all of you, would like to request all of you to kindly rise as we mark the formality. Thank you, thank you very, very much. I reiterate, it is indeed for all of us a leap forward. Thank you for being a part to each and every one of you. We shall now hear briefly the details and the ideas embedded in this very important venture. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Lai Weiping, Director General Manager of Hongshi Shivam Cement Limited, Private Limited, for his statement. Respect of Finance Ministry, Mr. Kanidra. Respectful Ambassador of China, Ms. Yu Hong. Respectful CEO of IBN, Mr. Ma. Ladies and gentlemen, because I cannot speak English, I spent 10 days to learn the following 10 sentences. I hope to be able to express my thoughts. Thank you very much for coming here tonight to witness the PIA signing for Hong Si Shifa project. <coughs> Two years ago, we obtained this project invest investment approval. Now, the project construction has achieved great progress. However, today, we signed the PRA. We have seen the efforts from IBN and our ministry for Hong Shifa project. We have seen the all sections of society in Nepal embracing and accepting larger foreign investment project. We have also seen the strong support and the legal guarantee from the government of Nepal to foreign invested companies. We are very encouraged and grateful. Thank you for, thank you all for the support and the efforts. We firmly believe our project will achieve success. Nepal's Nepal is an economy and a society will have better and better development. Nepal is a reliable place and valuable for investment. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you for your very valid words. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Satish Kumar Moore, representative of shareholder Shivam Holdings Private Limited. Good evening. Thank you, Master Sharmani. I would like to extend my warm welcome for coming here for motivating us in the, this project investment agreement signing program as a chief guest, Honorable Minister Gyanendra Badu Karki, Vice Chairman of Investment Board, Excellency, the Chinese Ambassador in Nepal, Ms. Hu, respected dignitaries, ministers, Department of Nepal Governments, High Authorities, CEO of Nepal Investment Forum, Mr. Mahaprasad Adhikari, CEO of our consortium banks, Mr. Sunil, who have been invested partners in these projects, reporters, friends of different media houses, <coughs> President of CNI, Vice President of CNI, who are together partnering with us for this huge project from Nepal, Republic of China, promoters of Shivam Cement and all friends here. Dear friends, we have started our project Shivam Cement back in 2009 
a public limited entity now with a minimum of 4 billion enterprise with productors production capacity of 1200 tpd as nepal's biggest and modern cement manufacturing plant it is situated at the of hatoda where rapid infrastructure development has been witnessed over the years shivam cement has invested hugely on capital human resources production process infrastructure etc making it in one of the largest cement manufacturing plant in nepal recently we are upgrading our capacity to 2000 uh, 3000 tons uh, tpd uh, tons per day the tonnage capacity of machinery that is installed and erected of the plant side of the manufacturing of cement one of the biggest greenfield project across the country honorable sir we believe in concept that, that unless our economy is converted from import based economy to rather self sustainable economy we will not be able to achieve the long term goal of our country to reduce the balance of payment we would like to inform you that from the days when our constructions which has which was completely based on cement import now has been in verge of complete replacement through gradual expansion of our self limestone based cement industries shivam cements limited through its efforts is always committed to work towards our goal for a prosperous economy now i would like to highlight some of our hongshi shivam uh, project which is uh, they are also the hongshi group is the biggest cement producer in china hongshi shivam cement project is jointly invested by hongshi group from china and shivam cement from nepal it is proposed to set a 6000 tpd new dry process cement production with 12 megawatt pure low temperature waste heat power generation project at naval prasi district lumbini zone the total investment is 350 billion million usd the project will bring the world class new dry process manufacturing apply the high standard construction norms of smart manufacturing and clean productions power up the local related business development and accelerated the local economic growth hongshi group is the listed as the china's top 500 enterprises sir and china's biggest private owned building material enterprise the group has operated more than 40 large scale cement plant in china with total annual output of 80 million tons per year on 28th july 2015 the project was approved by ibn and since then ibn and has given full support and positive coordinations for the project establishment in nepal for the project governance government clearance facilitations for our staff including visa coordinations etc ibn positively positively keeps the project moving forward honorable minister although these industries are the backbones of economy currently industries are facing a lot of problems for smooth operations we believe that through your constant offered efforts and changes required in industrial environment we will be able to move together for our dream and making investment friendly country and thank you thank you very much for that and i would like to thanks to all of the support we had received till date from the government of nepal the ibn Uh, the local peoples the banks especially the nmb bank and uh, so called who are the directly or indirectly in, in coordination with this uh, mega project which is the highest private sector joint venture equity partners in nepal so far thank you very much Thank you thank you sir thank you very much for shedding light on the state uh, and the aspirations from your side i said that ladies and gentlemen we do move ahead uh, today's accomplishment ladies and gentlemen comes uh, from a very long running and rigorous effort from all stakeholders and the initiative though economic in nature extends to various spheres including the uh, fostering of bilateral relations percolating from the state to the people to people relationships and uh, said that ladies and gentlemen i am privileged now to place my humble request to our uh, for the special address to honorable mr gyanendra bahadur karki the minister for finance and the vice chairman of the investment board of nepal good evening honorable chairman finance committee of parliament honorable honorable member of parliament honorable members of national planning commission 
Excellency Ambassador of China to Nepal, CEO of Investment Board of Nepal, Director of Hongxi Sivam Cement, Government Officers, Distinguished Guests, Media Persons, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to attend this signing ceremony of project investment agreement between the Investment Board of Nepal and the Hongxi Sivam Cement Private Limited established a mega cement plant in Nepal. The, pro the proposed plant has the annual production capacity of 2.3 million tons of high-grade cement and creates the employment opportunity for nearly 1,000 people. I am glad to note that this agreement allows a private company to make a total investment of 360 30, million US dollar in Nepal. I would like to thank both the signing parties to bring this in investment agreement to current stage. I would like I would also like to congratulate the company of being the largest extra, external investor in Nepal so far. After declaration of constitution, our focus is on to sustainable economic growth and the economic prosperity in Nepal. We aim to graduate from least developed countries status to zero, 22, and upgrade to the middle income company country by 20330, while the government of Nepal is trying to increase the quality public investment. This, is, this alone is not sufficient to attain the, those landmark goals. We are convinced that the private investment <coughs> is the key determinant for the sustain, sustained economic growth through in increased production and job creation. I believe this agreement is a signal to the private investors, both internal and external, that we have sufficiently good invest investment atmosphere. Therefore, today is a remarkable day in the history of FDI inflow in Nepal. The government of Nepal is committed to encourage private investment and therefore initiating various measures to make the overall business climate conducive for doing business. We are initiating the next generation of economic reforms by re re revising the policies, laws, and the regulation for this purpose. On the procedural part also, we are trying to ease the process as much as possible. Moreover, we are devising several initiative measures to attract more investment in, manuf in manufacturing and service industries. I further assure all the investors that government of Nepal in general and uh, and the Ministry of Finance in particular will facilitate maximum to ensure the target outputs from their investment. With this small note, I would once again to like to thank both the parties for reaching to an understanding for this agreement. I, will, I wish all the best the company for it, its successful completion to the project and to be the leader to mobilize more external investment in Nepal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for your best wishes, certainly for your valued words and your gracious presence as well. Thank you one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, and now for the vote of thanks, I have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Mahaprasad Adhikari, the Chief Executive Officer of the Investment Board of Nepal.
Thank you, Sivaniji. <coughs> Honorable Minister of Finance and Vice Chairman of the Investment Board, Mr. Gyanendra Bahadur Karkiju. Honorable Chairperson of the Parliamentary <coughs> uh, Finance Committee and also member of the committee. Honorable member of the National Planning Commission, respected and honorable members of the Investment Board, respected secretaries, Excellencies, Ambassador, People's Republic of China to Nepal, representative from different government agencies, private sector organization and development partner, Mr. Lai, Director General and General Manager of Hong Shivam Cement Private Limited, friends from media, distinguished guests, and my colleagues from the Investment Board, ladies and gentlemen. It is <coughs> indeed a privilege to welcome you all, dignitaries, on this occasion of the signing of the project investment agreement between the government of Nepal and Hong Shi Shivam Shimen Private Limited. I would also like to extend our board of thanks and sincere gratitude to everyone whose dedication and efforts have contributed to the finalization of this agreement. Today marks a historic occasion where Hong Shi Shivam Cement Private Limited becomes the first private company to sign the project investment agreement with the government of Nepal Investment Board under the Investment Board Act, making one of the largest foreign direct investment in the manufacturing sector in Nepal. At this point, Nepal is striding from a state of political transition to economic transformation in a day such a today hallmarks Nepal's leap towards economic prosperity and sends out a definite positive message about Nepal's investment climate. At this occasion, I feel like a proud guardian where such partnership between group of Nepalese entrepreneur and Hongxi group of China has saved a child in the form of this project. I sincerely hope for this marriage between the Nepali and Chinese counterpart to create a successful and long-lasting relationship to, to nurture and develop a project and to deliver exemplary <coughs> outcomes in the future. With the signing of this PIA document today, we open endless door of investment opportunity for foreign companies to confidently invest in Nepal and become a partner in its journey towards economic prosperity. At the same time, I'd like to place my sincere gratitude towards Honorable Minister of Finance and Vice Chairman of the Investment Board, Mr. Ganendra Bahadur Karkiju, for gracing occasion and sharing his encouraging words with us. We are deeply honored to have you here, sir. Allow me to express my profound thanks and gratitude to the different committees for their abundant support rendered to us, specifically <coughs> the PIA Negotiation Committee for negotiating and finalizing the agreement and the Investment Facilitation and Coordination Committee for facilitating, supporting, and expediting the different process to mark this day as a reality. I would like to... <coughs> I would also like to express my gratitude to the Excellency Ambassador for his gracious presence here in this occasion. I would also like to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the various ministries and government agencies for their support in facilitating and <coughs> different necessary pro procedure required for laying a strong foundation for the project to kick off. We still look forward to continued support and cooperation from all the agencies to facilitate and deliver other mega projects. I would also like to thank Hongxi Group, China's biggest private town building material enterprise, for trusting in the business potential in Nepal and exploring business opportunity in the country. We are delighted to have Mr. Lai, <coughs> Director and General Manager of Hongxi Shivam Group, with us today to shield the agreement from Hongxi side also, I would like to acknowledge and thank the representative from Shivam Shivan, one of the largest cement manufacturers in Nepal, for successfully partnering with their Chinese counterpart and wish for a successful business journey together. 
I would like to thank the media for their continued support and request you to continue to carry the positive message, which will significantly contribute to create positive momentum about the overall business climate in Nepal and help attract genuine investors into the country. I'd also like to take this opportunity to appreciate the support extended to investment board by development partners such as JICA, USAID, World Bank, and especially DFID that has helped us to deliver the service at the highest level of quality and professionalism that significantly contributes for the overall development of the nation. Before concluding, let me express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the team of well-motivated and dedicated officials and staff at the Office of Investment Board for their tireless efforts and hard work in facilitating and supporting the different aspects of the project agreement. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your very beautifully crafted uh, vote of thanks to this very, very uh, celebrated audience. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our is the reflection of our gratitude and elation at this very historic occasion because we think this is just the beginning. And thank you very much for making out your time and being a part of this very historic occasion. Before I invite the photojournalist and the camera persons for a photo opportunity of our distinguished dignitaries up on the stage. I have a small announcement for our uh, journalist friends. We will be having a brief uh, press uh, briefing, in fact, uh, right after the closure of this uh, ceremony here, and that would be held uh, just alongside this hall that is in Regal, uh, Regal Bowl Room, right next to Regal One, that in fact is right next to this hall. You will be guided uh, by our secretariat, of course. So one more time, all the media persons and journalists, you are requested to kindly be a part of this media briefing that will be held right after this ceremony. And said that, I one more time invite our camera persons and photojournalists for a, a, a photo opportunity of our distinguished dignitaries. Well, thank you. Thank you, distinguished dignitaries. With this, the formal ceremony comes to a close. And I would like to invite, on behalf of the organizers, all our distinguished dignitaries and esteemed invitees to a reception and a cocktail dinner that will be served uh, in the hall shortly. Thank you one more time for being a part of us. Thank you so much.